jobs. That's exactly my point. Okay, you didn't. Eventually, they won't have a job because the company they work at is going to be destroyed by a riot. No, or that, something. That, no, that's what I'm happen. saying. No. What do you mean it won't happen? Well, what about the Starbucks in Washington D.C.? Uh, one Starbucks. It, it replaced those windows and. and, and 24 hours, and they were up and running. And all of the employees were liberals anyway, so it yeah. didn't really <laughs> matter. And they probably but. got time off with pay. But, hey, the conservatives might be late to work if the streets closed because there's a riot going on. No, because a lot of my friends would just drive through the crowds. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. I, I, You know what I would love? I have a trivia what question. What I would love. Now, I know what you, you want. would do a trivia question. I do. This is a good one, right? It is. No, it's not. You didn't even look at it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Which president had the first female personal physician Ooh. all right their personal physician was a female the first president that had one at outshow.com we'll be right back lock it in and rip the knob on red state talk radio My Parents Open Carry, a pro gun kids book from White Feather Press. 13 year old Brenna and her parents spend their day in typical fashion. But what's not so typical is that Brenna's parents lawfully open carry handguns for self defense. And the Strongs join a growing number of families who are standing up for their Second Amendment right and bringing gun ownership out of the closet. Order your copy of this unique kids book at myparentsopencarry.com. It's a bumpy ride through the political jungle with Nate and Brian. Believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. What? If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-350-3211. That's 800-350-3211. Again, 800-350-3211. Whenever I'm feeling a little down under, I can always count on Nate and Brian for their interesting perspective on topics important to freedom and civil rights by listening to the At Odd Show. Nate and Brian cover important topics with insight, intelligence, and, of course, humor. I can always expect a laugh or two. So if you want to be informed and have a great time, give these guys a listen. At odds. The Ed Odd Show with the greatest political talk show hosts in history, Nate and Brian. Nate and it's Brian. sad that they actually believe that. So give a listen because the delusional need love too. Are you looking for some way cool t-shirts? Check out ChuckDug.com. They have hundreds of crazy fun t-shirts like gun, patriotic, and you better believe zombie shirts. At ChuckDug.com, you'll find quality shirts at a quality price. All shirts start at just 10 bucks with free shipping over 50 bucks. Mention Radio 1 coupon code at checkout and grab a cool 10% off. That's ChuckDug.com. T-shirts with attitude. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Nate. If you like the Ad Odd Show, and we know you do, why not order your very own Ad Odds t shirt sizes small to 6XL in a cool black color? So support our show 
Check out the great prices at ChugDug.com or head over to our website at OddsShow.com and click the link. And unlike listening to our show, you won't be disappointed. When it comes to the law, ain't nothing understood. That is true. Oh, so, so, the true. first president of the United States of America to have a female primary care physician. Right. We had some guesses. Yep, we had. They ranged from George Washington to no. Donald Trump. <laughs> we did have not uh, have George Washington. Nixon, Kennedy, yep. Ford, and, Teddy, and, T- and, Teddy Roosevelt. And one of those is correct that you and mentioned. Kennedy. It was John F. Kennedy. His it personal was. physician was 59-year-old Janet Travell. She was uh, the first woman in history to hold the post of personal physician to a president of the United States. She did not specialize in head trauma, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> if she did, she did a terrible job. All right, too soon? I think it's too soon. This day in history, right, Michigan becomes a state Woo-hoo! in 1837, yeah. right? Woo, yay us. But also, and I know you try to shorten me down here, but on this day in 1945, the most decorated man of the Second World War, American Lieutenant Audie Murphy, is wounded in France, ending his military career. He served three years of active duty, starting as a private, Nate. He went all the way up, and he made a uh, battlefield commission as second lieutenant, wounded three times. Fought nine major campaigns across Europe and is credited with 241 German kills. He won 37 medals and decorations, including the Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star, the Legion of Merit, and the Croix de Gore, which is the Cross of War, which is a French decoration. The battle that won Murphy the highest honor, the Medal of Honor, occurred during the last stages of the Allied victory over the German forces in France. Murphy acted as cover for infantrymen during a last desperate German tank attack. He climbed atop an abandoned U.S. tank destroyer. He took control of the 50 caliber machine gun and killed, how many? 50 Germans, stopping the advance but suffering a leg wound in the process that ended his military career. He One went, of those hot fifty caliber shells yeah. fell down his head. Yeah, boot. he danced like a, <laughs> like a jig, like the, the Irishman that he was. <laughs> Anyways, Murphy went on to uh, star in lots of movies, had a career, and not a great life. Alcoholic, mm. uh, probably had post-traumatic <clears throat> ses- uh, stress. Uh, what is it? Stress syndrome? No, it's not disorder. Disorder? Yeah, P- PTSD. Yeah. Uh, but okay. Anyways, well, good for him or not? I don't. I wasn't listening. Depends. I wasn't. Is I know he a good person or no? Yeah, he had some issues. Okay. Hey, listen to this. But I would too after what he went through. Uh, you have to listen closely. Okay. But listen. Die. 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 That's it. <laughs> that is a so, teacher. Yeah. In Dallas, Texas. An art teacher um, shooting at Donald Trump, who they have the inauguration projected onto the whiteboard, Ah. and she's up in front of the class, and she is shooting and screaming, die. She's shooting what? A water gun? A water gun, squirt, 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 at Donald Trump. Yelling, die, die. Yelling, die. die. In front of her class. And then when you slow it down, she yells, die. But that wasn't really her. She's... Got a higher pitch voice than that, but yeah, uh, uh, appropriate. Seemingly in front of her class, you don't actually not see the class, but you hear people now. Um, inappropriate, absolutely inappropriate. I think so. The Secret Service is aware of the incident. The school administration is aware of the incident. She brought a squirt gun into the school, which if a student he, had done that, that's my take on it. Um, not it, just yours. Yeah. It, don't be don't what? be like that. What do you mean? I speak for myself. I know you do. So what don't be like what? Don't be like that you're take you're claiming like you're the the only one that I has a take on it. I didn't. 
Okay. I'm claiming that I'm an individual and I can think for myself, unlike yeah. other people who just I like to read words. Read words, yeah. right? Um, so my take on it is that I don't think it warrants the Secret Service to do much of an investigation, because uh, generally I'm in favor of free speech, and right. unless there's a reason to think that it was some legitimate threat against the president. But here's the thing: <clears throat> generally, if I if I stood, well. See, making a threat against someone is not protected free speech. Why? It just it just isn't. So oh, if okay. I stood in a bar and I stood on a, on a bar stool and I yelled, "Death to Nate," or "I want to kill Nate," that's not protected speech. And even more so, if I stood on that same bar stool and said, "I'm going to kill the president of the United States." I can go to prison for that for a long time. Yeah. Not so much for shouting, I want to kill you. Right. Because you're really insignificant. But Right. Yeah. And I, like I said, my take is, eh, I'm not sure. But yeah. I know for a fact that most school districts, if a student had just brought in a water gun and not even taken it out and pretended right, right. to shoot it at somebody, just was found with a water gun or a... Pop tart that was chewed in the shape of a gun, or anything or else, or said "Die, Obama, die." Yeah, definitely that. There it, would be some consequences. And if if a white teacher had said "Die, Obama, die," and she's done white. The same thing. No, I know, but just oh, Obama. I see what yeah, you're saying. Because it's racist. Then it would have been not a, a racist now to hate. Then the it president. would have been a hate crime. Yeah, and that's great. By the way, I do oh, like I that. that. Yeah, you can I'm say anything glad, you want about Trump. I'm glad. Um, you can call him a tangerine if you want. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> which I've I don't get it. Which I've heard a lot of. Um, I so, just heard Orange Man. Uh, I, I heard. Well, it was a, uh, it was a, it was a video. <clears throat> I think it might have been staged, but it was uh, in a coffee shop. A, a, the barista was a black, a young black lady. Uh -huh. um, a white young black or young white lady came in and just started screaming about, "Oh, I'm so worried about your future as a minority. I just I'm so sorry because of Trump that uh -huh. Tangerine's the president now and I'm you're going to uh -huh. you have dreams You'll I suffer. can see it yeah. in your eyes. I can see the dreams." And yeah. went on for like 20 minutes. Uh -huh. The lines getting longer and longer. Uh -huh. And then the barista says, "I one question. I have one question." Was that caramel or chocolate? Uh, I love it. <laughs> it's just, I, it, I, it, I think it, it might have been and it would have been better if, if if the black woman said, "Yeah, and my father's an orthodontist, and my or, mother's a professor or at Harvard. I uh, I own this coffee yeah. shop, so <laughs> that's actually what I thought was going to yeah, happen. That would have been but, great. Yeah. Uh, anyway, my point is double standard, and it's you a should double be able standard. To, and you should that's be able to say what you want. Well, yeah, but even if it's saying I want to kill the president, but this same teacher, like you were saying, if two weeks ago. A student or another teacher would have done this same thing during one of Obama's speeches. Yeah. This teacher that did it, I guarantee, would have had an issue with that. Would have been fired and maybe prosecuted. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Horrible. We'll see. Horrible. We'll see. <clears throat> All right. What yeah. do we got here? As of this morning, she had not been put on any sort of leave yeah. or had anything, anything happen. So... There was an active shooter in San Antonio, Texas, at a mall. It was a jewelry store. Apparently, it was a, a robbery attempt. Uh, one of the people that was killed was a concealed pistol license holder, and the initial news said that you know he had tried to, to stop it. And what, what's coming out now is, no, that's not the case. What he'd done is he'd stepped in front of his wife and his children to protect him from the robbers. They opened up, shot him in the chest and the head, and killed him. He had not drawn a weapon or done anything. But another concealed pistol license holder did draw his weapon and shot and killed one of the robbers, and another one got away. And what was interesting was the person that was a CPL holder who actually shot and killed one of the robbers was a convicted felon. Did you know that? You weren't aware of that, were you, Nate? I think, aren't you mashing two stories together? Maybe. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Which one? No, I'm talking about the one that was the jewelry store robbery. Okay. In Texas. And what uh, 
the point was that he had gotten his felony expunged uh, and was able to... Uh,